Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about the difference between iodometry and iodimetry. So when you take the iodometric versus iodimetry, you have to keep, keep focus on the difference between them and you have to identify the actual difference between them. So first we will learn about the iodimetry then we will learn about diodimetry and then we will see the differences means what we are going to learn first we will understand both the uh, component uh, separately and then we will compare with the each other right so it may be easy for us to understand the difference between them so let's start what is iodometry what is iodometry See, iodometry is an indirect titration method. Iodometry is an indirect titration method where iodine used was produced prior to the redox titration is quantified through a separate titration. Iodometry is an indirect method where iodine used was produced prior to the redox reaction is quantified through a separate titration, right? The second point, the iodometric titration experiment helped to determine the concentration of analyte that is used to produce iodine. That used to produce iodine. The experiment is quite popular and mostly used in the situation where amount of oxidizing agents in a water body needs to be quantified. That is about what is iodometry. Next, what is iodimetry? So iodimetry is direct titration. See, always keep in mind, as I mentioned here, the iodometry is indirect titration. While if you see, iodimetry is direct titration method. What we are doing in iodimetry, where the analyte under investigation is supposed to be a reducing agent. Previously it was, oxidize and here it is reducing agent right so the titration with standard iodine solution can only happen with a good indicator and the second point the end point of the reaction can be obtained from information on the stoichiometry equations and other necessary relationships such as reducing agents and iodine solution which act as an oxidizing agent, right? So this is the basic idea about iodometry and iodimetry. Now we are moving to the our focused area that is the difference between the iodimetry and iodometry. So if you see the difference very carefully, definitely you will get exact idea about both. Right? So first, iodometry is a titration where the iodine produced in the previous redox reaction is titrated with a reducing agent. So please focus. Iodometry is a titration where you are doing what? You are producing iodine in some previous reduction which you perform and then the iodine is titrated is titrated with some reducing agent, right? In iodimetry, now I am coming to the iodimetry. In iodimetry is a method, titration method, where the iodine solution is directly titrated with the reducing agent. So see, there is a difference. Here the iodine produced by the redox reduction is we are going to measure and here we are going to directly titrate the iodine with the reducing agent, right? So this is the key difference between them. Now next, 
Iodometry is an indirect method of analysis. While if we see the iodometry is a direct method of analysis. Iodometry entails two redox reactions while iodometry entails one redox reaction. See, there is a key difference here. Two redox reactions are there. Here only single redox reaction is there. Next, iodometry iodine get oxidized first and then reduced by some reducing agents. In iodometry, the iodine get reduced immediately, directly. In iodometry, uh, the direct re uh, immediate reduced reduction is there. In iodometry is commonly observed in lots of experiment, while iodometry is observed in less, less commonly observed in the experiments. Iodometry used most of time, while iodometry used very less time. Iodometry is used to quantify oxidizing agent. Always keep in mind, iodometry is used to quantify the oxidizing agents, while iodometry is used to quantify the reducing agents, right? I hope all the six differences as we seen is very clear to each and everyone. And now, thank you very much for listening to me presently. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video. Till then, bye.